how to tackle a 100 mile ride. Number one, sleep. Get a good night's sleep if you can, and the night before that as well. It's not essential, but it will give you the best chance, not only of doing your best, but also enjoying the day. Hangovers are definitely not fun. Number two, breakfast. This is likely to be your last proper meal for a while, so make it count. Slow release carbohydrates should be the focus of the breakfast, so a bowl of porridge is ideal. Avoid too much heavy fat as it's harder to digest and doesn't really bring anything useful to your day. The GCN ideal power breakfast is half a cup of oats, half a cup of water and half a cup of milk. Simmer combined with a chopped banana and some sultanas. Follow this with some scrambled eggs and then see the miles fly by. Number three, bike. Avoiding bike troubles mid-ride is best achieved by making sure that your bike is in good condition before you start. Check your tyres for cuts, check your chain, gears and cables for wear, and make sure bolts are done up as tightly as they should be. Also, starting with a clean and well lubricated bike is the ultimate motivational aid. Number four, clothing. Clothing choices can affect the enjoyment of a ride hugely. When you're in the saddle for a long period of time, these choices become more important. Invest in a good pair of shorts that fit well. Expensive doesn't necessarily mean better, so do a bit of research online. Use them a couple of times before the day to make sure they really are as comfortable as you're hoping. It might be worth investing in some anti-chafing cream as an extra measure. Put this on before you start, not after the damage has been done. Other clothing choices should be made according to the weather. It's a good idea to wear layers that can be removed or added as the conditions change. Bear in mind that the day may be very different at the beginning and the end of your ride. That said, try to pack as light as possible. Being laden with extra clothes is not fun, so be sensible with your choices. Number five, preparation. Finally, what to take with you. The three staples are fluid, food and tools. The first two ensure that your body will stay functioning and the last for any bike mishaps. Take two 750ml bottles and aim to drink them both inside the first two hours and then refill them throughout the day. Likewise with food, take a good amount to start with, but a long day in the saddle will require plenty of stocking up en route. Don't fill your pockets too full. Aim to eat at least one piece of food per hour. And tools? Make sure you have a pump and a couple of spare tubes, and a multi-tool with a chain tool function. This will cover almost every eventuality. You might have seen some bike racing on television and noticed how close the riders are, but if you're new to group riding, then it's best to give yourself some safety room. Even if you're an experienced sportif rider, you should still take care. 